Hey guys, I'm Sulema and this is my little craft box. And today I'm going to show you how to make plorn, which is yarn made out of plastic. Yep, you heard me. I know it's not a new thing, but it's new to me. So I wanted to try it. We're gonna use plastic bags to make yarn. So are you ready to get crafty? Okay, now that we're settled in our crafting area, which in my case is a very small space, I apologize for that. <laughs> I wonder what I have. Anyways, to make these um, plastic yarn, all you need is a bag, a grocery bag, and a pair of scissors. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna cut the top and I'm gonna cut the bottom. Those parts are not being used in this project. So you're gonna come here and you're gonna start cutting. Yep, yeah, just like that. Don't stress about it. I want you to take a deep breath. If you are uh, OCD or you like to measure everything, this is not the place. No. <laughs> this is very forgiving, so it won't even show. If you cut cricket or whatever, it's not going to show. So just relax. Don't worry about anything. Here we go. I guess if you're very crafty, if you need toys, you need something to fill them with, this could be a good choice, especially for baby toys. They like the noise. Anyway, so we end up with this part of the bag, and we're going to open it to make a big rectangle out of it, like so. You just open it, open it, and you're gonna stretch it again. It has to be flat the whole time, and then we're gonna fold it. We're gonna fold it like you folded it in half, but we're gonna leave a little end, okay? You're gonna fold up to here, maybe half an inch or an inch, whatever you feel like comfortable with, right there. We're gonna fold once, we're gonna fold it again, just up to this point, keep on getting it flat, and we're gonna fold it again, one more time. And here's what we're gonna start cutting. So what you're gonna do is, you're going to cut, not all the way through, we're gonna cut right a little bit after the fold, a little after the fold, I'm sorry, I went off camera. <laughs> so we're gonna cut here and cut, see, right there. And you're gonna keep on cutting, and you're gonna keep on cutting. This is the easiest thing. Just keep on cutting, make sure you don't cut the bottom. Grab it with your fingers, put it away. Keep on cutting, just a bit. Snip, snip, snip. Just keep on cutting. Doesn't matter if it's uh, straight or not. And you're gonna end up with this. So now, they're going to drop. These are going to drop, these are your loops, okay? It's gonna look like this. I'm gonna show you up here too, so you can see. Whee! It's almost like a little French, like if you're gonna make pom-poms, that's what it looks like. So now, the last thing to do is we're gonna open this up here when we didn't cut, and we're gonna put our hand through it, just like so. We're gonna separate these loops. These are loops hanging out of the back, see? They're still together. So what we're gonna do is trying to get out of one bag, one full string. We're not gonna be knotting loops and doing all the crazy stuff. We're gonna, less knots, the better, you know? That's what I like. So we're gonna come from the outside towards the end in a diagonal line, and we're gonna cut. There you go. That's the first part of your string. So now, we're gonna go to the next opening right here, and we're just gonna aim straight and make a full cut. Ta-da! And here we go, and we continue doing that. What we're gonna do is all over, all the way through, we're gonna do the same. And just keep on cutting. Keep that hand in there, make sure you don't cut the back. Whatever's hanging on the back, try not to catch it. Yep, and here we go. Just keep on cutting diagonally. There we go. All the way through. Yeah, there we go. And the last one you just cut towards the end. Boom. And what these give you is a big, full, long string out of one bag. And then you're just gonna roll it. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I don't know if I'm gonna just start crocheting or knitting with this, or if I'm gonna spin it, I have a spindle, I don't know. So you just grab three fingers and start rolling, rolling, rolling just for now, to make your first ball of 
Plarn, plastic yarn. This is super cool, especially if you have nothing else to do and you want to just relax for a minute and do something else, just sit down and get, you know, pressing your bags and cutting and, you know, and rolling. So what I do for now is I'm going to make this little tiny balls of plarn and I have a two gallon size bag where I'm pulling all the little balls until I figure what I'm going to do with them to keep them organized and obviously I'm organizing it by colors. I have also, these are from Kroger, I also got a Target and Walmart so I'm going to see some are gray, some are white and red and this one is brown and blue. So this is it guys, how easy was that right? If you like this video don't forget to subscribe, thank you so much for the support. And if you want to um, talk about it or tell me about other techniques that you guys know, let me know in the comments. I would love to learn. Me, it's all about learning. It's all about experiences. So, until next time, keep crafting.